So tell me something. You guys like Stargate? Yeah. The the show and or the movie? I haven't seen too much of the show, but I've obviously seen the movie. The show's pretty good. Uh, apparently there's big rumors going around that they're gonna make a new show. Really? Yeah. Doesn't really excite me though. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. Well, they did say that they're they're gonna have some of the uh, the same people. I mean, like cool. Michael Shanks and uh, Amanda Tapping said that they have been talking about uh, w with people about uh, coming back. Hmm. When you guys speak about like a. Uh... Like sci-fi shows like that, that like you watched in your childhood. That's my analog to that, really. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I watched. I watched all of Stargate too. I think universe. Yeah, I watched everything been, Stargate. Universe could have been uh, something good if they had let it go on for another season, because the first season really was uh, kind of bad, but then they they well, kind of pulled it around. Second a season. lot of shows that don't have like a really strong established setting tend to kind of flounder a bit in the first season till they find their footing. Yeah. There has to be fish in the water to, to fish, right? Like yeah, there, yeah there actually has to be fish that you can see in order to fish. Also, don't don't cast really far away. Yeah, yeah. Cast I, I really fished shortly. before. I just didn't know where I. This could this fish. is a this is your friendly reminder. I'm not seeing any fish in any of this water. <laughs> They're all gone. There's not any. I see uh, Ibmab over there swimming around. Oh, there's a fish. If we made a... If we went out and hunted sea serpents that has a duration longer than the locks meet. Of course, that means we actually have to go out and hunting sea serpents locks is I think are a little bit easier to get to what is this fish doing a fish is like doing laps around my uh, bait it like touched at the bait a couple times so it didn't actually take it and now it's gone and now the fish is just right, gone I got a plant We have no turnips. Should have plenty of seeds, I would think. I have like 50. Which is fine, it just means I, I still need to plant the turnips. Turnip stew is a bit better than carrot stew. Apparently they're making a uh, game too, Stargate game. But nobody knows what well, it is. Apparently people are assuming it, it's an RTS. Like, what would it even be? I don't know. Well, they've tried so many times to make a Stargate game, and none of them have ever come through. I think that could be the issue. Of, like I just said, is like, well, what would it be about? Like, what what kind of game would it be? Uh, they tried to make an MMO at that one point a number of years ago. That never came oh, out. Everybody tries to make an MMO. Just like everybody tries to make a, a trading card game. Everyone tries to make an MMO, but then like it either f has a failed start or it starts and then gets pulled because people don't realize it takes a lot of work to just keep an MMO running. Yeah. And that's if you get past the initial, like, soft launch, and you're trying to test out, you know, stress test the servers. Come on, fishies. Get this, get this bait. Come on, you know you want it. What's the button to pull back uh, uh, when you catch something? Is it regular click or right click? Uh... I don't remember. <laughs> Alright.
Come on, fishies. Pretty sure it. I've asked this before. Is it, have you guys ever had a turnip before? I'm not sure. I know I haven't. Wait, no. Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, it could have been well, in something. Well, if I had a turnip, it was in a stew that Mom decided to try and make one time. Uh, that just out of the blue, she, there was a sale on strange lamb meat, of all things. So she picked it up, and it came with a like a bar recipe for lamb meat stew. So we thought, sure, why not? Let's make it. And I, if I had turnip, it would have been in that. I have had lamb. I've had lamb stew before. Lamb stew in a like a, a bread bowl, a bowl made of bread. That was really good. I've had ostrich before. I have also had ostrich before, but that's because in my area there is like an ostrich farm. I um, is when I was a kid, we went to a uh, it was we were on a, like a field trip to this um, like farmers market. And uh, I happened to have some money, and I wanted to get something, just like anything, then you know, some kind of meat. And um, they actually had ostrich, and it was actually not expensive. So I bought like a pound of um, uh, uh, ground ostrich meat, and we ended up having ostrich burgers. And it was pretty good. Oops, that's not what I wanted. These fish, like, aren't biting. They're just, like, sitting next to... next to my bait and doing nothing. They're disrespecting me. Just, just like real fish. There's, like, a bunch of fish in here. I see them. I don't, the problem is I don't know what button to, to press. I got him! I got one! I got one! I got one! Alright, drag him- drag him onto land. I got him! I got him! I got him, I caught the fish. Alright. Like, you could also just, like, just drag him onto land. I know how to do it now. I know- I know how to do it. There's, like, two right at your feet. Yeah, I know. Three. I know, I know that there are. There's three fish, Merg. At your feet. I- I see them. Yes. I see them. I mean, I can't just go in and get them, unfortunately. That's not the way the game goes. Oh, if this you could, though. I've, I've actually genuinely tried to, like, jump into the water and grab a fish, but it won't let you. I feel you like out of it was it was a major um, kind of disappointment in Breath of the Wild that you couldn't actually go fishing. Like, all the other Zelda games have fishing, or at least all the other more recent ones have fishing, and yet... Breath maybe, of the Wild, well, when you think, well, like, Breath of the that's, getting the, the, a sequel, so that's maybe like the one game that. that needed to have fishing in it, and it has no fishing. In order to get fish, you literally have to just jump into the water and grab the fish. Well, Link is a, a caveman. That's true. He doesn't even know how to speak. Huh! Yeah! Huh? What did I come here for? I came to the castle for a reason. Now I don't even remember what that was. I don't know. Come on, fishies. Oops, that's way too far up. I don't like this overhead thing going on with the workbenches. Got him! I got him! We got another one! We got one! That is the wrong movie. <laughs> when is that sequel gonna come out finally? Like, it's, it's already been, like, completed and made and done for, like, a year. They just don't want to release it because they, they want uh, people to be going back to theaters, I guess. Well, there's afterlife. That's what I mean. 
That's the movie I'm talking about. There were any Is other Ghostbusters sequel? sequels. Yes, it's an actual sequel to the original Ghostbusters. It is an actual Honest to God sequel and not just a shitty reboot. I mean, it is kind of a reboot, but, you know, it, it does it does take off of the original movies instead of the, the remake, other movie I, we shall not talk about. The remake I don't like mostly because I wanted Nobody to like it. it. Lost joke. But Nobody liked it. I like Patty. Patty was hilarious. It had funny people in it. The problem is the way they made it is 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 they they seem to just let people do their own thing and then like they like cut everything together and it just made it seem very bad. I, immediately <laughs> I did not like the villain. Did not like him. I don't even remember who it was. He was pretty much an uh, I can't say this language anymore. He was a, an entitled guy who felt he was slighted, so he was taking it out on people. Oh. Which, to me, immediately makes him a really uninteresting villain compared to the likes of Gozer, the Gozerian, <laughs> Gozer, the Gozerian. and Vigo. Vigo the Carpathian. Who apparently was an asshole in real life, by the way. The actor or Vigo himself? The actor. The actor. Apparently was oh. was a was a really shitty well, guy. Did you see his face? <laughs> There's guy, a lot he, of a people face who like he... don't you know don't look the, eventually the attractive look, and yet the guy's are not face asshole. Looked like he bit into a sour lemon and smelled a fart. I mean, I don't want to name He's names, Vigo. but like, there's 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 some some not attractive people that are not yeah, an asshole, you know. There's plenty of those. But the point being, the 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 remake Lost Ghostbuster remake yeah. villain compared to the other ones, he just was not very interesting. I don't know who the villain is is going to be in the new one. I know that there has been talk of. Uh, Egon's ghost appearing. Hmm. I really liked the uh, the video game. That was basically Ghostbusters 3. Yeah, it was essentially Ghostbusters 3, and I played the hell out of the video game. I still own great. the video game actually. As do I. I have it for Xbox or was it or was it 360s, one of those. It came out on uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. And the Wii, but the Wii one was vastly different. It was yeah, almost a completely the, separate game. I had the good one. I had, the, I think, I had the 360 version. That's not to say the Wii version wasn't bad. It's just it I was remember called that at the, the time, same though. thing as the other, different. you know, the Ghostbusters the game, but it was like tonally very different. Like yeah, I, visually, I, it was a little bit more toony. I remember people complaining about it, where it's like. Yes, visually it's it's different, and that and that was kind of expected with with the Wii, but it also just was not the same game like at all. I forgot what I was doing. Talking about Ghostbusters. Apparently, Sigourney Weaver, uh, she didn't join the game because she didn't think that any of the other guys were going into in for it, and she only learned later. That uh, basically everybody else joined. She says she That's regrets not joining. That's she unfortunate. She, she would have joined. If I mean, she it's kind of understandable why Rick Moranis wasn't wasn't into it. Yeah. Well, he was still he was still retired at that point. I think he might be coming back though. I, I wouldn't be surprised. He's coming to back. See him I think he's officially come movie. out saying that he's gonna get back yeah. into acting now. And then he got beat up by some random Jesus schmuck. Jesus Christ! Who? Like who, seriously, who, like who? Who would have done that? Like seriously, who, who beats up? Rick who Moranis? decided? Who, who? Who just looks at Rick Moranis? Decides I'm gonna fight him. Did they even know who Rick Moranis is? Even if you don't know who Rick Moranis is, just like just look at him. He's like a he's like a nice like little guy. Like who who would want to fight him? Who would want to punch him in the face? Now. I've had someone say, uh, look at like Matthew Broderick and say he's got a punchable face, but that was them. 
Oddly enough, I think Steve Martin has a very punchable face. He, he but he pulls he does that like on purpose. Like he pulls off smug asshole like very well. Like smug that is his asshole, whole but stick. like But like that the the old smug asshole where it's like he's kind of a dick but not it's a little bit more better veiled than it would be nowadays. Yeah. I feel like there was a point at which he kind of turned into a bit of a smug asshole for a while there, but I think he's better now. I remember, cause I remember seeing him on like various talk shows a number of years ago, like 10 years ago. And, um, he, he, he had gotten like super into like his art or whatever. And he, he very much acted like a full on smug art snob, like asshole. You know, who's an asshole. I hear Who? Chevy chase. Oh yeah. Everybody knows that. I'm reminded of this because uh, mom's been watching the community a lot. I honestly forgot what I was doing. I've been running around in a circle for this entire time. I would love to f continue fishing, but I cannot see anything with this glare of the sun going down on the water. Let's see, let's see. What did I need? I have 14 uh, fish butts. I don't know if I've handled a fish, have I? Have you not? I can give you some. I don't know. Where are you? Um, uh, Fort Badass. I, I'm about to come back, though. Oh, there you are. I'm already coming through. Man, you know what I like? Skittles. I like Skittles. Do you? I like skills. There you go. Okay, I guess I have handled a bit. Is you can you make anything with that, or is it just fish? Um, I think it's just grilled fish. All right, but let me well, go back. Well, okay, I'll, I'll wait for you then. I'll wait for. I you mean, you can do what you're that. going. You were going to do. I was gonna cook them all. Well, there is a spit there. I was gonna cook them all and let God sort them out. Let's see. I'll go back to the castle to, to cook them, because there's a nice big area there. Uh, doesn't look like I know anything that right. I can cook with. If I had known Craig wasn't going to show up tonight, I would have maybe done something else. No, this just gives me an opportunity to make food. That's true. We do need food. We we are in a little bit of desperate needs for, for food. Cooking this meat is reminding me that there's some rib tips in the fridge. Uh, can you share with the class? Well, it's probably not enough. Well, that's unfortunate. So, so no, I won't share. Some what? Rib tips. Sounds like, like a, a, a brand of condoms. Tip. <laughs> ribbed tips I have to google this now they got sauce on them lost joke no no sauce on the rib tips what the hell kind of rib tips are you having 
Uh, I don't know. Mom got them at a grocery store. Went for lunch the other day. You need sauce on those, or at least some kind of like gravy. We have sauce at home. <laughs> sauce at home. So, jar of mayonnaise. Sauce at home is actually sweet baby rays. If you're familiar. Uh, I am vaguely familiar. I uh, there's a lot of um, barbecue sauces. I'm just like not really into. It's not that I hate them, it's that they don't seem to hold a candle to, like, what my favorite sauce is. What is your favorite sauce? I couldn't tell you. I don't even remember. We have... We have, like, uh, bottles of it in the fridge because uh, it's, like, hard to find in local stores, even though it's, it's like, a national brand. But for some reason, our local stores don't really carry it anymore. So How do like you prefer your it? sauce, then? Sweet and savory? Tangy? Smoky? A little bit tangy, but mostly, but mostly sweet and savory. Craig, are you finally here? Are you finally here? Uh, over an hour late. Is your microphone on? Because um, doesn't seem like it is. You usually have this problem, though, when you first come back from your <laughs> Arizona exile. You gotta, like, reset your microphone settings. Come on, turnips grow. That could be something, another thing Haldor sells. Fertilizer. That'd be kind of cool. I need... Oh, wait, now I remember what I was doing. I needed to go back to the fort get my iron, come back and replace all my chests with reinforced chests. That's what I was doing. It's all coming together. Everything's coming up Millhouse. What do you want, Bone Boy? Swallow your soul! Swallow your soul! Let's need to swallow these nuts. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't Austin Powers this. What are you doing? Turning my boat around. Did you do it? Wait, wait for me. Hold on. I'm wrong. I'm coming. <laughs> you should have said so sooner. There we go. I'm here. I don't know what you're doing or where you're going, but I want to do something other than stand around well, I'm going and waiting back for to the fish. I'm going back to Fort Badass because right. iron. Oh. <laughs> Lost joke. You what? just did a hit and run on that neck. You're not going to stop and exchange information? Hell no. I mean, there's a lot play. of necks on the on this whole strip of river. Oh, Craig, you made sounds. What sounds are you making? Whoa! Why am I turning so sharp? Why Jesus. are you turning? Jesus, lost joke. What are you doing? Why, why is the ship suddenly so nimble? I hear more. I hear more. Uh, Noises coming from Craig. I hear it sounds like he's adjusting a table or something. It's like squeaking across the floor. I think I'll save myself a bit of trouble and actually use this little river inlet that we're coming up on. 
Oh, Craig's typing. What's up, Craig? Can you hear us? You can hear us, right? Why is the ship so <laughs> nimble all Maybe of a sudden? Maybe it's because I'm standing? Is it, like, doing weird? The mic will pick up your sneezing, but nothing else. You have, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to help you, Craig. Well, that's because of the Windows update. You, yeah, you could see if, if Windows is updated because a lot of the times they will like reset your default microphone settings. So just make sure that that's okay. Why are you trying to meet me around the river bend? Yeah, I wanted to get that thistle. There's only one, but you know, one's Every better than nothing. Counts. Make sure it's uh, set in uh, Discord too, Craig. Make sure your uh, your mute button, like if you have a physical mute button on the on the headset, isn't set as well. Uh, if you have unplugged it, make sure you have it plugged into the right uh, plug. I don't know. That's all I can say. Also, do that thing, uh, unplug it, and then plug it back in, because remember, that, that, that's that been, like, a, a, a thing that has worked in the past. Like, literally just unplug it, and then plug it right back in, and then, like, sometimes it works. You need to be careful coming through this particular spot at night, because there's a troll cave right to the left, and there's a troll that usually hangs out. Oh, yeah, I see it. No troll, but I see the cave. See, right here, this little river does go through the island, but it's really narrow. But the ship, the car could make it. Yeah. But very slowly. Yeah. It goes, like, way north. Like, it's not a very direct route. It almost would take you to Fort Badass, but it, like, banks to the right. Yeah, east. I have it most of it east. mapped. Just from walking near it. Over there to the west is more Black Forest, but I haven't explored that. I don't have any of Hello. that. Hello. Did unplugging Hello. and plugging it back in work? Nope. Nope. Hello. <laughs> it's. You worked for like a. You, you worked for one second when you said hello, and now you're not working anymore. He left. He was so disgusted. He was so disgusted that we couldn't hear him that he left. Offended. Is this island of the Grey Dwarves? Yeah, they're just kind of there. Chewy, we're home. <laughs> the sailing music just immediately stops as soon as I jump off the boat. Well, you're not sailing anymore. 
I see no fish in these waters. It's just as well. I don't have a uh, fishing rod anyway. Put it away. What music would fit Valheim a bit? What? The Jeremy Soul music from uh, Skyrim. Probably, yeah. Uh... It's that same kind of tone. They could play the um, Dovahkiin theme song when we're fighting Motor. Any more birds want to die? No? I'm leaving. I assume that he um, is rebooting his computer. Because he's not even on Discord right now. Either that or he just quit. <laughs> he just not quit everything. <laughs> just go chop some trees. Birds out here want to die? Die. Yeah, want to die. Yell birds want to die. Hello, boar. Go away. Don't bother me. Go away, kid. You bother me. Ain't no birds out here. Don't know why I'm talking like this when we're playing a vacuum game. But it is what it is. Talk about them fried tomatoes. <laughs> oh, come with them French fried potatoes. There's literally nothing here. Oh my god. I mean, I could I could I could do something else. I just don't know what else to do. Kyle, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just walking on my house a bit. Maybe I'll go visit Kyle for a while. I hear a secret. Where is it? Mine? 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 I like your line of trees up there. I'm probably going to do that all around the uh, base thing here. Hmm. 
Looks pretty nice, though. So far. Nice, solid walls. Thank you. Um, you know what I might do is I'm going to go to the planes. I'm going to go to the planes by myself. I'm not going to go into the planes. I'm just going to kind of hang around outside the planes and see if I can get any mosquitoes so I can get more needles for, for arrows. Good luck. Empty my uh, inventory first. Don't forget to do that. Welcome back, Craig. Is your microphone working now? It Gotta might take not that be. as a no. I mean, you do usually have this problem, like when you come back from, from Arizona, and I don't know how you usually fix it. I go into the plains not into the plains around the plains any skeeters around here Oh, you'll know. I mean, I'm waiting for him. Oh, there's some. <laughs> Get him from here. Almost. Good, it's raining. Great. Maybe you get to see Thor again. <laughs> Good. Thor, you want to come down? Help me kill some of these Skeeters? Nice, I got a trophy from that one. 
my Draugr bow is one upgrade away from being capped. Skeeters. I see you. I see you there. Come on. Come on over. Come on. Got him. Alright, well, so far so good. I kill I've killed like three or four of them now. Three of them. I got a trophy and I got three uh needles. That's ten arrows per needle, isn't it? I don't know. I I honestly don't know. I have to go back and see. I see a gabo over there. I don't really want to mess with him. I'm gonna like skirt the forest. Or skirt the plains in the forest. Oh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> sometimes you're working, Hello? and sometimes you're not. Well, sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Test. Thing. Yes, testing. I heard that. I'm not hearing anything I think else my though. USB only has enough bandwidth to do to run my microphone or my headphones, but not both at the same time. That's strange. What what kind of slot is it? It's a hub. Oh. Are you using three so, USB three? Yeah. Oh. Weird because I've, I mean, I've, I've run multiple things in a in a single USB 3.0 slot via a hub before, and it's worked fine. Well, I set, dying. I set my audio to the speakers instead, and suddenly the mic works. It's weird. Well, welcome. Welcome to your face. Yes. Indeed. You're very late. Very late today, Craig. How come? Where, where are you where are you at? Tell me. Tell me tell me who you were with. <laughs> tell me it wasn't another woman. Where's the Joker? Where is Rachel? Where is she? Tell me where she is. What's in the box? Gwyneth Paltrow's face. <laughs> no, it's her whole head. It was her whole entire head. No, just her face. Well, I have five needles, and uh, I'm not really prepared to go further into the plains right now, so... Are you still alive, Craig? Because um, you haven't actually said anything for a while. Yeah. All right, just making sure. Some loxes there, but it's like a group of them, and I don't really want to take them on by myself. You'd have to try and isolate one of them. It'll even be then, hard, though. Even, yeah, even even just one, it would be iffy for me. Oh, there's a mosquito. Come over here, Skeeter. Over here, 
or Skeeter from, from Muppet Babies? Specifically the Skeeter version from, from Doug. Muppet Babies? Oh yeah, he was. Maybe maybe I'm <laughs> thinking of the one from Doug. <laughs> Is the one you're thinking of making a lot of a lot of sound effects and and honking? I don't I don't know. I don't even remember. Is there a Muppet Skeeter? Yeah, he's... No, you're thinking of Scooter. Scooter is who I'm thinking of, yeah. Scooter's the one, the orange one with glasses. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly who I'm thinking of. Skeeter's from Doug. Yeah, Skeeter's like his best friend, right? Yeah, he's blue, I think. Yeah, he has like blue skin. For some reason. I mean, everyone had really bizarre skin colors. Yeah. Douglas! It's very expensive. <laughs> the Dinks. Mr. Dink. Double income, no kids. The cartoons that made us. <laughs> Craig, how you doing? How are you doing today? Fine. I heard another um, mosquito, but I don't see where it is. If you heard a mosquito, it's too late. It's weird because it, it plays the mosquito, like the buzzing sound, like right in your ear when you when there's one around, but they could be like half a mile away. Yeah, well, they'll cover that half a mile in two seconds because they're that fast. They're not that fast. I mean, they're pretty bright. I too. still remember my like first encounter run. with the planes and a mosquito. I was wandering around exploring because my original map had told me uh, the Elder was god awful on the other side of the map. I was like, oh, this doesn't take forever. It was like an hour sail to and from there. Yeah, imagine being unlucky with your, spa your boss spawns. Anyway, it happened been to be at the edge of the plane so I was like oh cool I'm gonna go have a look at this and I see this dot buzzing around in the distance I'm like huh I wonder what that that is and then it like beelined at me and I exploded you mean it mosquito like, oh. lined at you and then I was telling a friend of mine about that and he's like huh I want to see so we go to the planes and I was like hey look out he turned around and said what and then exploded what? And that's when we learn for the first time that the planes is horrible. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's two needles per ten. It's actually four needles to make twenty. And you need four in order to make anything. Was it just needles and feathers? Four needles, two feathers to make twenty arrows. Kind of reasonable. Unfortunately... I kind of wish it was a little less. I kind of wish it was two and one to make ten. Because um, I only had seven needles. <laughs> so I could make one thing of, of, of arrows and that's it. Isn't that if just it was, how it goes? If it was two and ten, I could have made like another, another ten. But I guess not. Uh, Lost Joke, how are you doing on the old, uh, on the old food, food train? Um, I was waiting for my turnips to grow. No. Uh. So while I was doing that, I was smelting up the iron, the rest of the iron I have, as well as going out and hunting and killing. Mmm. The turnips should be grown by now. Uh, not yet, damn it. A watch turnip never grows. That is why I'm not watching them. I've been watching them for you. <laughs> I've, been, I've been preventing their growth. <laughs> you are sabotaging. What else can I make instead? I have a lot of carrots. Let's find out. Is 
So I've been watching a show called as, you um, do. <laughs> as I do. I don't I don't really watch that many shows on TV. Like I watch plenty of YouTube, but not really a lot of TV shows. Anyway, I've been watching a show called uh For All Mankind. This is pretty good. Mankind, you mean Mick Foley? <laughs> yes. For Mankind, Mick Foley. Um, it's it's all about uh, him and all of his clones. That's why it's called For All Mankind. It's a sci-fi show. Uh, no, it actually is a, a bit of a sci-fi show. So it's so it's about um. It's it's like an alternate history of NASA. Uh, starting with the conceit of. What if the Russians were first to land on the moon? This sounds familiar. And then it kind of goes from there. Um, it's pretty good. It's it's apparently it got it got like rave reviews. Uh, the second season just finished uh, a couple weeks ago. People were saying it was really good. It's 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 pretty. Um, I would say it's pretty realistic on the science front. Uh. I don't know about the political front, but then again, it's it's kind of hard to to compare because I mean the political front is completely changed because of the events that happen in the show. But uh, they do they do a few like time skips, like um, they'll skip like a year or a few months or a, or a couple years uh, at a time, or like at the end of the first season. There's no spoilers, but at the end of the first season, they skip like ten years to start season two. Um, so, I don't know, it's, it was pretty interesting, it's just basically, it's, it's, you know, it's all about the space program, if, basically, if we, if we didn't stop caring, if people in general didn't stop caring about the space race. And they take other things into account, like, uh, you know, the Cold War, obviously, the, the people we're in space race with is, is, you know, the Russians, and, and how kind of tensions are kind of, um, heightened with them and um you know how that affects space you know space program and, and such no you're I, gonna I, bring I really the roof down Merrick. reckless i rather enjoyed it i think i would recommend it i need to kill us all Unfortunately, it's it's on Apple TV. So, if you don't, Gross. if yeah, if you don't have Apple TV, uh, I mean, I ain't gonna say nothing about um, you know, acquiring it in in alternative ways. You you do you. But I would say it's it's worth a it's worth a watch. If if you like that kind of thing. Do you have Apple TV? Do I have Apple TV? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't have any Apple products anymore. I, that's not true. I, I think I still have an iPod from like 10 plus years ago. Mom has a really old iPod. Uh, I think one of the first generation where they started doing a touch screen. I think I might um, have like a, an old iPhone around here somewhere too, like a really. And I have a uh, Apple PC originals. that I got for free from an old job of mine. They were just going to toss them out, so the uh, the employer's like, "If there's anything you guys want, feel free. Otherwise, it's just gonna be tossed." So I it is um I forget it's a T something, but it's like a full aluminum case. The thing's heavy as all goddamn hell. Yeah, yeah. The last, the last Apple you computer prick. I used was from. Uh, Get over here. Steve Jobs like that. The last, last Apple computer I used was. Son was of a bitch broke my turnip. From like school. Like old, Absolute old like IMAX. Gremlin. I just don't like Max. I just, I just plain don't like them. I've, I've, I've tried them. I've tried the, the operating system. 
And it's just... No, sir, I don't like it. The thing I don't like about Apple's iOS is that everything shares it on all platforms. What do you mean? Like, say you have a laptop, a desktop, uh, an iPod, any sort of device you have, all share the same iOS. I mean, isn't that what, what Microsoft was trying to do with Windows for a while? They kind of still yes. are, but not. The Windows They're still trying, aren't really but... a thing anymore, really. They do tablets, but, but... my issue with Apple's iOS is that if someone cracks into your account or anything on one device, they have access to all of them. Yeah. So that's why... that That's my reason why I don't like Apple. And people are still under the false impression that having an Apple makes you safer just because... The, the reasoning is that not as many people have apples and thus it's not a targeted system. Uh, That's like you know, the worst reasoning. <laughs> yes, it is. And people used to use that reasoning all the time for, for why you should get a Mac instead of, instead of a Windows PC. Oh, it's more secure because nobody's making viruses for Macs. It's like, yeah, that's... <laughs> number one, it's completely not true. People make viruses for Macs all the time. And, uh... I don't know, it's just, it's just really stupid. Anyone else even remember the fact that the whole reason why Apple is where it is is because it was supposed to be the affordable option yeah. when it comes to computers? Now look at them. I mean, they started out by making, like, literally making computers in a garage by hand. There was, like, two or three people, and they were all doing it. And, like, cell phones. I mean, I don't even own a cell phone. <laughs> have a cell phone oh my god how do you how do you text people how do you send uh selfies and, and nudes by mail <laughs> by mail <laughs> by post <laughs> you, by post all right so a prick gray dwarf came up to my garden and slapped one of my turnips so we're di we're short one <sighs> you, sh you should have been more secure lost joke you should have had to be more secure well, I used to have a fence almost all the way around it, you but I took it out because it was... You should have had I a Mac. should have had a Mac. Is it we need more iron today? here. For what? Glass furnace. Mm. Well. If you want to get some more iron, <laughs> go ahead. The swamp portal is still there. I'm... Ah! All right, it sounds that like one. you're dead. No, no, I'm not dead. Uh, it was just a mosquito uh, came up at me. And he didn't actually do that much damage to me, to be honest. Well, you he have did, silver he did armor full on, on hit. right? He did full on, yeah, he did full on hit me, but he didn't do that much damage, luckily. It just scared you me. I didn't hear him. At your house, Kyle. Hot chat. What? Five. How much do you need? Uh. Oh, shit. Ten. I have no. five. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Ow. Ow. There we go. All right, I killed a gobbo. He, he took half my life, but I did kill him. I heard another mosquito sound, but I don't see any. I'll bring them over in a second. Oh, there's some. Where'd you guys come from? You weren't even there before. 
All right, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I can't believe I got that shot. It was amazing. Hello? Did you not even drop anything, you son of a bitch? Laughs and goblin. Do you have any extra iron at for badass last job? Yes, but you'd owed me. You you'll have to owe me. You owe me. Well, I'll pay you back in a different metal. the one to come over. Just the one. Just the one, please. Maybe you should run away. Yeah. How many iron did you need? Uh, if Kyle's bringing five, then I need five. But if you want to bring more, I'm going to need more for, like, building stuff later, too. I'll bring you five, because I need this iron. Okay. Nice. Are our ships still near motor? I don't know. Are they? Just a fish on a rock, nowhere near the ocean. I remember sailing back, so I think so. No, 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 no. You're not gonna run away. Run away. Got him. I got this son of a bitch. Hell yeah, that was great. A lox trophy too. And four meat. Damn. Well, I am starting to eat into the needle arrow supply. That's not good. I think I might go back and make some uh, obsidian, more obsidian arrows, because we just don't have the supply for it. If I'm gonna like use it to hunt. It was a little iffy there, it was a little touch and go as, as I took a pot shot at one and then three started running at me. But uh, I managed to separate them. And it was good. And lo, it was good. And Odin said unto thee Thou art a coward for not fighting all three. He rhymes like that, Odin. That's what he does. I realize your Odin went to the same school as Dr. Seuss.
I feel like the harpoon should be used for spear fishing. But now that I say it, I don't think I've actually tried. Well, give it a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. So there's no use for lox meat other than to uh, cook it. There's no like. Uh, I didn't see a recipe for it, raw or cooked. So I think it's just a big chunk of meat you eat. All right, I'll do it. I'll do that then. Do we still have a um, potentially a portal to the mountain area? Uh, should be. Yeah, it's at the castle, the new portal. Because we're gonna need some more obsidian to get more arrows. At least, like if there was a steadier supply of mosquitoes, it'd be fine. But there really isn't. I feel like you should still use obsidian arrows or, or or a lesser arrow if you're not actively trying to kill something. Yeah. That's why I use stick arrows for a long time. Get some uh, obsidian. There's like a whole bunch up here, I think. <laughs> 